Hello and welcome to the tutorial on getting started with SPSS. We're going to start from scratch and create a new data set. And then we're going to do some things with that data set like create new variables from existing variables and learn the uh, split file and select cases options. And then at the end of the video I will show you how to take some of the output from SPSS and drop it in as an image into a Word file. So to get started, one thing we should look at is these two views down here, data view and variable view. Data view is where you're going to actually see your data as you enter it and as you're manipulating it. It's going to look a lot like a spreadsheet, so if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel, it should look pretty fam familiar to you. You have columns and rows here. And over here we've got variable view, and this is where we're going to list each of the variables that we have in our data set. So if you're starting from scratch, this is where you're going to want to begin, where you set up the structure for your data set before you actually enter anything in. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to just enter in some names and information about a few uh, albums that I have on my iTunes here, so a small little data set. So the very first field is going to be the artists. Oops. And since this is going to be the name of the artist, it's not going to be um, a number, it's going to be a string. So you're going to want to change that from numeric to string by just clicking on that, and if you need more than eight characters, then you might want to give this a larger number here. Note that width is how many characters is allowed, and columns over here is how big or small it looks on your screen. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then we're going to put in the name of the album, so that's the second piece of information. We'll do the same thing there. Turn it into a string variable. 25 characters. Okay, and the next piece of information is how many songs there are in that, and that is numeric, so you don't need to change that. Uh, by default, SPSS gives you two decimals, which is great if you do have that uh, data which has decimals, but um, oftentimes if you've got whole numbers, you don't want to be staring at a screen full of zeros. So you can click on that until you get the up and down arrows and click that down to zero. And since this is not nominal, um, we might want to click over here where it says measure and click on scale. If you've got something on a ratio or interval scale, then you want to click scale there. Next thing is how long the album is. So I'm typing in album length, but when I hit enter, it gives me a warning message that it contains an illegal character. That's because I put in a space and it doesn't like that. You can't have spaces. Um, so if you want a space between two words, use an underscore or maybe a period. And um, this is just going to be in minutes, so I'm going to get rid of those decimals. And this is a good time to describe the label column. This is just a longer name uh, for your variable. So you've got the names over here, but if you want something longer and more descriptive to help remind you of what you've got, then you might want to do this. So I could say length of album in minutes. And we could stretch that if we want to be able to see the whole thing. That's also a scale variable. Then we're going to add in the country. In other words, where is the this artist from? And here's one where we're going to have categories. Uh, anytime you've got something where you've got people that could be, or any data that could be categorized, you're not going to want to type in United States, UK, whatever. You're going to want to code these numerically. So even though countries are not numeric, we're going to give them a numeric code. So that's going to uh, be something where we're going to give them whole numbers. Um, and to, to assign these codes, we click on values. So click here. It's going to pop up this new uh, value labels dialog box. And we have, we're have we going to have four different countries represented here. So we've got France is going to be represented by one. And then click Add. Sweden. We've got some albums from there. UK. I'm just doing this alphabetically. And USA. You can always go back and add more if you are adding to your data set, and then there's a fifth country. You can come back and add five equals whatever, Spain or Canada or whatever. 
Okay, then hit OK. And you'll see that those are there. Change that to scale. And last we have rating. And this is just a rating of the albums by a group of people who, I guess, enjoy rating albums. And this one is going to have two decimals, so we're going to leave this as is. I think we're all set to switch now. Uh, these are the variables that we're going to have, and go to data view. Now you can see that the six variables that we created are shown here. If you see this where it splits across the row, you can click and drag so that you can see the whole thing. It's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. So for the next minute or so, I'm just going to quickly um, go through and fill out the data set. We've got six albums here. Um, and don't be surprised if you don't recognize any of them. But um, What I tend to use is the tab key to go from one cell to the next cell. And the other really nice thing about it, I'll show you in a second. Now, for country, this this is a band from Sweden. I'm not going to type in the word Sweden. I'm going to use the code that I used before. So Sweden, I think, was two. And if I want to double check that, I can go over here. And that's the value labels button. And it'll toggle back and forth between the country code and the country name itself, based on what you set up in the variable view. By the way, this rating is on a 0 to 15 scale. So, Okay, so now I'm at the end of the first one. I could go all the way over here and click with my, uh, with my mouse to start the second one, but that's not all that efficient. If I'm just using tab and I hit tab here, it automatically moves me right over to the beginning of the next uh, uh, case, which is nice. Now here we have a case where we've run out of room. It's but it's within the 24 characters, so it's still recording that information. And you can see we can drag this just like in variable view. This is USA, which is 4. And even if you've got the toggle there, you can still type the number and it'll automatically kind of show you what, what code that referred to. So I'll show you that now. Oops. Uh, no, there weren't 52 songs, just five, 52 minutes. And this is the UK, so that's three. So if I hit three, you'll see that I got that in there and then it automatically switched over. I guess you, the other thing you can do is you can start typing the name and it'll kind of fill it in like this. So, something I'm not sure I was aware of. Okay, so at this point, we've got our data set.